I was um, sexually molested as a five-year-old. Uh, there was drugs in our house. There was lots of neglect, lots of divorce. My father died when I was 10 years old. I would look down at my feet and I would think, why did God put me on this earth? Why are these two feet occupying this square foot of land? It was my way of crying out, do you see me? Do you love me? Do you notice me? I was desperate for something. And by the time I was in the ninth grade, I had a friend invite me to Young Life. And every time I heard about Jesus, my heart would just like leap out of my chest. And I wanted to know about Jesus. I just needed to know. He had the answer to all my questions. And eventually, as a sophomore, I gave my heart to him. I just prayed, you know, would you be the daddy that will never leave me? People ask me, well, how can you be so joyful? How can you be have this uncaged life? And, and that is because I have gone in those deep places with Jesus. And it's such a reward, but I think, People are afraid to do that maybe, or they just, they have an idea about Jesus that may not be true. But my heart for them is to really look at who the historical amazing Jesus is, this irresistible savior. And he dignified women in such a way that just makes my heart pound. You know, he just noticed, especially that woman, you know, that was bleeding or the woman caught in adultery who was going to be killed. I mean, he just, he noticed, he dignified, he spoke words of life. He, you know, he, women, you know, met him. They were there when he was crucified. They were there when he was resurrected. He was, he included them in everything. This is so radical and so amazing. And we forget it. We forget that Jesus was a great great liberator of women. He really doesn't want perfect people. He wants broken, imperfect people, and those are the ones that shine his strength.